Hello and welcome to this session on quantitative reasoning for the GRE. In this session, we will cover the concept of least common multiple, more popularly known as LCM. But before we jump into what an LCM is, let's take a look at the GRE type multiple choice question. Let me read it out for you. When the positive integer n is divided by 6 and 10, it leaves no remainder in each case. What is the least possible value of n? Now there are a few key terms that we have to make note of. The first is no remainder, and the second one is least possible value. Now let's deal with the first one first. What it means is that when n is divided by 6, or when n is divided by 10, it leaves no remainder, and this lets us conclude that n is a multiple of 6 and 10. Taking into account the fact that we are after the least possible value of n, this means that n is the lowest common multiple of both 6 and 10. Let's take note of the first tip of this video. Identify key terms and rephrase them. Now it's time to take a look at the concept of LCM. Let's start with the definition of LCM. The least common multiple of two non-negative integers is the lowest positive integer, which is a multiple of both integers. Let me analyze this definition for you. First of all, all negative integers are out of consideration for us right from the definition itself and if one of the integers is 0, then the LCM must also be 0. For all practical purposes, we are actually looking at only positive integers here. Let's look at an example to understand the approach for positive integers. What is the least common multiple of 6 and 10? Right, now I'm going to take you through a method called the listing method, which is simple but rather cumbersome. However, it is worthwhile going through this method nevertheless. For the listing method, I'm going to list all the multiples of 6, which are beginning with 6. That's 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60. I'm going to stop at 60 here, and I'm going to do the same for 10. List all the multiples of 10 starting from 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Now inspect the list of numbers over here and notice that 30 occurs in both lists. And the same happens for 60. Therefore the common multiples of 6 and 10 are 30 and 60. However, what we're looking for is the least common multiple and that would be 30. Now this method may work for two numbers which are small but as soon as the numbers get larger or you are dealing with more numbers, it gets rather cumbersome. So we're going to move on to a different method. Now I'm going to introduce you to a method called the prime factorization method. All this consists of is in breaking up 6 into its constituent prime factors, that is 2 into 3, and doing the same for 10, which would give you 2 into 5. And now all we have to do is multiply out the highest power of each individual number that occurs, which would be 2 power 1 times 3 power 1 times 5 power 1, which is equal to 2 3s are 6 and 6 5s are 30. So you, you notice right away that this is a much easier method. Now let's go back to our question that we started off with in my first slide. If you observe, this question is nothing but a regular LCM question that we solved earlier. However, it is wordy, but don't get thrown off by that. Here's a tip. Break down the complex problem into a simpler version. You must be prepared for the indirect nature of the questions, and you have to overcome that in order to get a good score on the GRE. Now let's look at the points to be taken away from this video. If you're dealing with two small numbers, select the listing method. Otherwise, select the factorization method. Identify the key terms and rephrase them, and break down complex problems into simpler versions. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you liked the video as much as I enjoyed sharing these tips with you. If you're looking for more such interesting concepts and strategies, visit us at www.gre4u.com. At gre4u.com, we offer personal as well as batch tutoring across various time zones. Thank you, and have a great day.